Hi, welcome to Tiny Garage Fabrication. My name is Matt, and today I'll be showing you a tech tip for cleaning fuel injectors that I use in my home shop, and you can use it in yours, and it only costs a few bucks. If this tip helps you out and keeps some cash in your pockets, then help me out and maybe help put a little bit of cash in my pockets by checking out the affiliate links down below for all of the tools and materials I use in this, as well as smashing that like and subscribe button and following along for more tech tips, cool builds, and project cars. Okay, so the first step in cleaning fuel injectors, I think, is to break them down. Now this is how they came out of the engine. And this one I just kind of wire brushed the body just to get rid of some of the junk that was on it. Now as you can see, these seals on the bottom are in awful shape. And this may be a very good cause of why the engine did not run very good. Possibly an air leak or something like that. So. Pulling the seals off of them is definitely a first step. Pull them off this one here. They're just like O-rings, they come right off. If they're not ancient. Now speaking of O-rings, there is... This one right here was also chewed up. I think I've got another one here. That had been pinched pretty bad. So definitely a cause of concern for this engine. Spin those things off and get that off there. So these are the three soft parts. Now there's also a filter basket inside the top right here. Now one way to get these baskets out is to get a screw and drive it into there. You're going to want to get it in there pretty tight and you don't want the screw to be so big that it gets into the walls of the injector. So once it's in there like that, you can get some pliers and you should, should fail. I'll try again. I generally put a screw into the vise sticking up like this and then I screw the injector onto it. It allows me to get more force because this stays put. But for this demonstration, this is how we'll do it. There we go, filter basket came out. You can see this thing is quite filthy. You can hardly even see in there. Now, another way, I ordered new filters on Amazon and it also came with this basket removal tool. There is a new set of filter baskets. We'll put those in in a minute. Now this, when you twist on the end, that screw retracts. So it kind of acts like a little anvil to pull the thing out so all you have to do for this is the same you just kind of screw it into the filter there and then turn the end and if you get it screwed in deep enough theoretically it should pull that filter out now i've never used one of these this is my first time so we're learning together Yeah, there we go. That worked pretty slick. Now injector baskets are measured by the diameter of this circle and the depth of this metal ring. So this is a six millimeter by three millimeter and then the length of the complete body. So this one more or less is about 13 millimeters, give or take. So I ordered these. These were six by three by like 13.1 or something like that. Now that we've got that done, we need to find a way to cycle the injector. And a nine volt battery will do the trick. I have this little pack right here, which is eight AA batteries, giving me 12 volts. And it gets the job done a little bit better now, you don't really want to use a car battery because that's just too many amps. Like, you'll burn this thing up real quick. This is probably pushing it amperage-wise. That's why a 9-volt battery works pretty well. Now, I've wired a simple switch into one of the wires here. And I used an old piece of speaker wire with one of the small terminals. So that I can clip that onto one side. And then... I was feeling kind of lazy, so I just got an alligator clip for the other one. But you can do another 
speaker wire terminal or whatever you want really. And then when you hit the switch, the injector will cycle. Now what we need to do is we need to get some type of a solvent through here. We want to get it through here pressurized so that it can spit it out. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. There are machines. You can buy a injector cleaner, about $100, a little pressurized capsule that holds some fluid and it can do that for you. Some people will take a, a bottle of brake parts cleaner and hook up a rubber hose to go from the outlet of that to the inlet of this and they'll spray the cleaner and it'll pressurize. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, this only costs two bucks. Get you a small pack of syringes. Now, depending on the end size, these are two different sizes here. I put an O-ring on this one and this one does not have an O-ring. Now let me demonstrate for you how this would work. So I'm just gonna take some fuel injector cleaner. This cost a dollar at the dollar store. And if I press this on here, if I hold it and then I squeeze down, like it's building pressure. That's as far as I can push it with my hand until I let go. And this one here, goes in far enough it just kind of locks itself in so I can build the pressure pretty good and that's this is, here is the one that I'm going to use for this demonstration let's get after it and we've got our injector cleaner in the syringe I'm going to go ahead and place this in here apply some pressure and activate the injector There we go, that works pretty slick. It'll be kind of hard to see that stuff coming out, but it definitely is. Let's go ahead and pull this off here. Right onto the cardboard, maybe we can see it spray a little better. Now, I've already pulled the filters out of these other injectors. And lastly, I'll use this one here just as a uh, Proof of concept, just to show you that you can get it done, even with a slightly different style of syringe, just in case this is all you can get a hold of. Now I did put the O-ring on there, that did not come with the syringe, it's just one that I had in my toolbox. You can get it to work. It doesn't work as good as the other way, I can't build as much pressure, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it back. And there we go. Cleaner has been run through. That worked super slick. Cost about two bucks for the tools. Well, we'll say three, a dollar for the injector cleaner as well. And I got this package of 10 filter baskets or 12 filter baskets with the tool. I got this on Amazon for, I think it was 13 or $14. I'll put a link in the description. And now to install these small filters, all that we have to do is I'm clean this up a little bit. Layer. You just put it in there and just press it on home. Sometimes I like to take a, uh, a hammer with a plastic head on it. Just give it a few taps until it's flush. And there we go. New filters installed. Now we just repeat the process. This one here is pretty gnarly inside there still. So just got a Q-tip wetted with some of that injector cleaner. Let's 
see if we can't get anything out of there. Yeah, that's pretty gross. That looks a lot better. And then my filters. There we go. Now, I don't have the O-ring kits on hand. I'm still waiting for those to get sent to me, but it's pretty simple. These are off some old injectors that I had, but kind of serves the point for the uh, demonstration here. All that you'll do is you'll take the kind of slotted one and slide over the top and you'll put your o-ring a new o-ring on there and then this kind of round donut one sits on the bottom and that's it cleaned tested rebuilt in your garage for only a couple of bucks so you saw a very simple method for cleaning your fuel injectors in your home garage doesn't take an expensive test bench, doesn't take an air compressor or anything extravagant. Simple, simple stuff you can find at Walmart, Amazon, or that you might already have in your toolbox. If you want to see what these fuel injectors go into, make sure you follow along. I'm going to have a small build series on the Toyota 22RE, diagnosis, breakdown, rebuild, and testing. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for following along. We'll see you next time.